hello and welcome to Inspirations by Insight. On this video today, I'll be answering a question that I was asked on one of the previous videos on how do you really begin to love yourself? There's a lot of misconception about what love is. People think that love is an emotion. Yes, there are emotions involved in love, but love is more than emotion. Love is a commitment. Love is a choice. Love is a decision to show kindness to yourself or to someone else, irrespective of what that person has or doesn't have, has done or has not done. And I'm going to be sharing five ways that you can love yourself using the definition of love from 1 Corinthians 13. If you're new here, my name is Anse Ufo and I am a transformational life coach and the creator of the Trauma Repair Program. Welcome to our community today. Take a second, introduce yourself in the comment section. We always, always, always want to get to know those who are visiting our community every single day. And if you like this content, take a moment, hit the subscribe button. We are committed to bringing you quality content on personal development, mindset up leveling, spirituality, and entertainment. Now the first way that you can love yourself. First Corinthians 13 says that love is kind. Love is patient. Let me ask you a question. Are you patient with yourself? Or are you easily disappointed at yourself when you don't get things right? Are you easily angered? Do you have patience? I used to say, and I thought it was a good thing. I'm very hard on myself. I used to pride myself in that. And I would say, I'm very hard on myself. I'm not patient with making mistakes. Until I learned that that was because of the upbringing, the way I had been conditioned. When you live in a critical environment, you, you criticize yourself harshly because of how you have been criticized or watch other people being criticized as well. So first, love is patient. Are you patient with yourself? If you're not, all you got to do today is begin today. When you see yourself beating up yourself about something, say, take it easy. It's going to be okay. If you didn't get it right this time, you're going to try it again and you're going to get it right the next time. You're not going to waste your time whining about how things didn't work and how much you messed up. You're going to get it right the next time. You're going to be patient with yourself to learn new things, patient with yourself to go through the loops and do the things that you need to do. The second thing is love is kind. Are you kind to yourself? What kind of words do you say to yourself and about yourself? Do you say, oh, have you ever said to yourself, oh, you're so stupid. Oh my God, how could you make this mistake again? Why are you not smart like other people? Oh my God, you did it again. Love is kind. Speak to yourself with kind, uplifting words, even when you have made a blunder. Yes, even when you have made a mistake, speak to yourself with love. And the third thing, love is gentle. Be gentle with yourself. You know, today I was going through a lot of emotions because I had a huge project. I had lots of recordings to do. I had a lot of deadlines and I was really hard on myself. You wasted time all this week. I was just going on and on and on. Then I said, hold up. Wait, 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 wait. I am with myself and I'm beating myself up. I put the stick down for a second and I soothe myself. I said, no, 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 no. And say, you have done a lot of things this week. Give yourself credit for the things you've done. And if you couldn't meet the deadline for some reason or the other, if it happens that you did everything you could and you still couldn't meet the deadline, give yourself credit for the effort that you put in and stop beating yourself up. So love is gentle. Be gentle with yourself. Stop judging yourself. Stop putting unusually high expectations for yourself. If you just started to learn, let's say learning a language, you cannot expect that you'll be as fluent in that language like someone who that was the person's native tongue. If you just started a business, you can't expect that your business will flourish from day one. You're comparing yourself and putting pressure on yourself to be what someone has taken 20 years to build or someone has taken five years to build. Yes, we admire people who have gone ahead of us. Yes, we are inspired by their work, but we don't have to judge ourselves harshly. We don't have to criticize criticize ourselves so hard. We don't have to beat up ourselves or compare ourselves trying to be what we are not yet. 
trained and developed to be. The next thing is love keeps no records of wrongs. Now this has beat me even when in my love relationship with other people, love keeps no records of wrongs. Are you having a tabula book, a book, a, a, a diary of the records of the wrongs that other people have done to you, have done to you. Now today, we're not even talking about other people. We'll talk about yourself. Are you keeping records of all the mistakes you've made and not letting yourself off the hook? Have you chained yourself on your legs to a chair, to a wall, to a tree because of something that you did 10, 5, 15, one year ago, two years ago, last month, yesterday? Are you holding yourself hostage or are you forgiving yourself? How are you protecting yourself? Love protects how can you say that you love yourself and you don't protect yourself? How do you protect yourself? By the things you allow yourself to hear, the things that you allow yourself to consume with your eyes, the things that you allow to get in your heart. Proverbs, the good book says, guard your heart with all diligence for out of it are the outworkings of life. Are you guarding your heart? Are you just allowing anything, anyone dump anything on you? You take it. Are you taking all those things rather than guarding your heart? Love protects, love preserves. Are you preserving yourself or are you allowing people violate your personal space, violate your boundaries, speak to you anyhow? Are you putting yourself in places and in, in circumstances, are you with people who do not lift you up, who by the time you leave them, you need to go take a bath and wash up all the negativity from yourself and from your mind, your body, and your spirit. Are you protecting yourself? Love, pre love preserves. Love is not easily angered. Are you, are you short with yourself? Oh gosh, you didn't, you did it again. Look at you. What, have, what is the inner dialogue that you are having with yourself? Are you holding yourself or are you kicking yourself? I always want to know which of those points resonated with you today. Leave me a message in the comment section. If you like this video, go ahead and click the thumbs up, like this video, subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to share this content with someone that you know will be blessed of it. As usual, I am committed to bringing you quality content three times a week, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Until we see you again, it's goodbye and God bless.